Okay, grocery haul from Trader Joe's. I have very few things, but we have the broccoli and cauliflower. I can never pronounce this word. Is it gratin? I don't know, it's French, I can't do it. But this looked, I mean, cheesy. There was that, what was it? Uh, the spaghetti squash thing. That was disgusting. Um, I'm trying to figure out if, do you guys want me to put, like when I show food, should I? I tried doing the captions before, like whether or not I liked it, but I don't know, let me know how we can, I try to follow up later in the video sometimes, but I don't know. Okay, the soft pretzels, these are good. So I bought them again. Trying out their pretzel bagels. I got the sparkling coconut water with yuzu again. I got one for my brother. I got one for my mom. Like, these are so good. And the rhubarb and strawberry soda. The Brussels sprouts, garlic, and onion and parsley tortilla chips. These are pretty good. I had them with some dip last night. Seasonally, we have the turkey stuffing kettle chips. I always find them a little salty, but I like enjoy them anyway. So I'll have like, you know, like 10 or something. And that is it from Trader Joe's. Moving on to Walmart. I've got the Monterey Jack Queso from On The Border. Love this. Also, growing up, I love these. I buy them every so often. Do you guys love the cheese flavor? I love the cheese flavor. When I showed you guys the Kimberly's cupcakes from Aldi, someone mentioned that they had them at Walmart. So I started looking um, and I found these ones, the sweet strawberry or strawberry shortcake. So I'm very excited because I know they're gonna be good. Also, Walmart's own bakery. You guys know how often I purchase them. I really like a lot of what they do. So this has a combination of the chocolate chip muffin and the blueberry muffin, both of which I like. Tons of vegetables, the broccoli florets. I love that they do these bags. You just throw them in the microwave and then I'll add like cheese or I'll add butter or whatever. And I'll have like, I can't even finish the whole bag, but like I'll have a bag for like lunch or dinner and I'm like super full and I feel like really good about myself because it's vegetables. And then broccoli. We've got Brussels sprouts. The veggie made pasta. I grabbed this spaghetti style marinara. Two bags of that. One of the rotini marinara. And then the mashed cauliflower. I just get the plain and I add whatever I want to it. Um, these were on Ibotta. It was like, you can buy up to five and get 75 cents back on each one. So I like stocked up. And then also on Ibotta were, if you bought three of these, you got $3 back. And I buy these all the time. So um, I would say as far as like vegetarian meat goes, anything chicken is always really good. So these are good. The Boca chicken ones are good. Um, Morningstar Farms also does like a, like the buffalo chicken wings. Those are also good. So I tend to like put this in the toaster oven and then cut it up and add it to a salad. Like that's like my favorite way to have it. Okay, so I am preheating the oven for these. Also, this is the French onion soup I picked up from TJ, TJ Maxx, <clears throat> Trader Joe's. It's really good, there's two of them in there. This is my second one, so it comes like this. And I just pop mine in the microwave, so I just, I'll show you. When I had initially decided to film this clip, I had higher anticipation, but this is, <laughs> this is the microwave soup. It's hot, but you can't tell, can you? Um, also, Chinese spoon, obvi. And then, I guess I could have also chosen a more attractive pretzel, but just trust me when I say that this whole thing is really delicious, as weird and gross as it looks right now. So, I've been getting some faux plants in. This one's from Amazon that I have slowly, slowly on, what do you call it? You like peel it and then you kind of shape it. This, I don't know, not really, oh, the bottom. That's not looking so great, but working on this one. And then, oh, oh, okay, no, not you. And then this one we got from Target and I'm slowly peeling this one. They're just, they, they're really time consuming and it makes you feel like you're not very good at anything. <laughs> okay, I've just finished filming two videos, neither of which are vlogs. One is the, um, a gift guide kind of. And then another is a gift guide as in like you can get it for people, you can get it for yourself. And the second video is my Black Friday haul slash Cyber Monday haul. Like it wasn't, oh, I'm like, I've been talking for three hours straight now and I'm tired and I don't wanna like make thumbnails and edit and get links, I'm just over it. 
they were fun like it were they were fun in that like i got to share so much stuff with you because sometimes vlogs i don't want them to be hauls i want them to be vlogs even though it's like very they're like mini hauls all together i don't know anyway i'm like babbling because i'm like because i can't shut up now because i've been talking for so long <sighs> okay yeah also i should have put something in my hair i feel like my hair in both of the videos looked like this and it didn't look that awesome and i keep ha i kept having like this look not not my favorite look okay tiny haul from vmart go i think it's vmartgo.com so it's a like asian grocery website i shop from i think there might be an actual location um but living here i have like a couple decent asian groceries but they don't have everything so this is probably good for those of you who also look kind of live in the same areas that i do where it's like you have stuff but not really anyway so the reason I really like this place, A, is because there's a lot of stuff. Two, free shipping is after like 29 bucks, which is very like reasonable. So I had bought these before, this brand of the, what are these, the black bean noodles? And I like it, so I decided to try another brand, which is the Nongshim. I think that's how you pronounce it. Could be wrong. <laughs> um, and I had this this morning, and I mean, it's good too. Now this is like a powder sauce. This one is a like liquidy, like saucy sauce. So, I mean, I guess maybe that depends on your preference. And I can't even decide if I like one more than the other. They're both good to me, but at the same time, I don't like beans. So I like the flavor, but I don't like actually eating beans. So that's just like a me thing. Plus this has a little vegetable sachet that has uh, peas in it. I don't like peas and noodles. That's like a weird thing for me Okay, so I put in the purchase around Black Friday time. So they were running your promotion. So I got a dolly wink um, Eyeliner and this is one of the first Korean Cosmetics forget eyeliners first one of the first Korean cosmetics I think that like was popular in the US K-beauty like let's say like five ten years ago I was using something like this and I started using it again when I picked it up when I was in Hong Kong earlier this year and I really like it so I'm back to using this a lot another one is the DHC one that one's also excellent and this came with like a free little looks like a cream eyeshadow so we'll try that I also have this Botanic Farm avocado honey rich oil serum so it looks like this uh, I've been using it. I have to like, hold on, shake it up a little. I used it in the morning and I've been using it as a replacement for my Clarence Double Serum and I like it. I just don't know if it's going to replace it in the winter. So it's cold here, but it's not super cold yet. Like I'm still, we're still in like 30, 40 degree weather. So it's not like, you know, we'll see. I mean, but I think I might like this in the summer. This was like a free gift. It's the Dr. Morita Q10 Royal Jelly Essence Facial Mask. So there's like a nice, what is it, a seven pack. So they have everything on here. There's like food, snacks, like beauty, uh, lifestyle, home. So I'll link them below. They're just, I don't know. This is probably like my third or, well, probably like my fourth or fifth uh, purchase from them. Okay, so I saw like one of these bowls at uh, Marshall's. I was like, those are pretty. And they were $7.99. But then I didn't really know what to do with them. I was like, it's like really pretty. But then I went to the dollar store. And of course, a dollar. So I grabbed four. And I think they're going to be really perfect like salad plates. Like the ones that you keep in the freezer. And then whenever you, you know have a salad or anything cold, you can have like a cold bowl. But so pretty for a dollar. Tiny Trader Joe's haul. We've got the French onion soup again because this is delicious. A paneer tikka masala up to this. I've never had the jackfruit cakes made like to taste like crab cakes. I bought their jackfruit curry before. What they can do with jackfruit is like amazing. And I also love jackfruit, whether it's like fresh or dried. Like I'm a huge <laughs> jackfruit fan, but it's always so expensive. Okay, French onion soup bites. Saw these on Instagram and of course had to get another sparkling coconut with yuzu because delicious. Also a rhubarb strawberry. If you are into champagne gummies, theirs are the best ones I've had so far. I've probably tried like whenever I see them 
anywhere. I usually try try them, and these taste delicious. And it's probably because they have champagne in them. So good. I hope they like don't make this seasonal. Another orangina. Oh, this is. Ugh. I got this like the last time I went, and I was like having like half a glass a day because I wanted to like save it. It's so good. If you like orange juice and bubbles, delicious. I've already had these a little bit with lunch today. The tortilla chips, this color, tri-color one. Okay, so just got out of Walmart. Really good um, things on Ibotta. I'll share it with you in a little bit. I feel like all I've been vlogging lately is food and I'm like my face is like nowhere in the vlog, which I don't know. Anyway, Diff sunglasses you guys know are my favorite. Um, and they had like 50% off. So I got a whole bunch, but I got things that I've tried before, kind of. Okay, so we, I love the Diff Beckys, and they're usually um, like a flashier lens. There's a mirror lens, and they have like a gold frame. But these are the black pair. I think because of winter, I was feeling like darker sunglasses. So this is the Becky with no, I don't think there's a gradient to these. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So these are the Beckys and all dark. Oh, I'm really into this. I don't wear like all black sunglasses because I wear so much black, but I'm feeling these. These are nice. Okay. Hey, okay, that worked out. Um, I like unpackaged all of them so it wouldn't take like forever to film. Um, the next pair, these are the Diff Goldies, and I bought these before, also in like a mirror lens, a flash lens, as well as a gradient lens. And they have these in a dark color. I believe there's like a all black and then there's like a smoke black. I got the smoke black. Also really into these. Yes. Look at me with dark sunglasses on. I mean, these were safe because I already know I like the shape on my face. My hair is also just, there's a lot of dry shampoo in it right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Okay. Lastly, okay, so I haven't bought these before. So there's the Diff Becky. This is the Becky 2. So they kind of played on that frame, but then they made it thicker. So I've never tried these before, and these are in a tortoise frame. Do I like these? Oh, these are very comfortable. You know what? This is like, it feels like a combination of the Becky and the Goldie. I'm gonna keep these on. These are like very light. So the Goldies are a slightly like heavier lens. These are cool. So I couldn't decide which one to get, so I went safer and went kind of dark, kind of light. Uh, they have an all-black one, too. These are quite oversized, which is my fave. Okay. Oh, I feel so ugly today, guys. You know when you just feel ugly, you're like, mm. Ugh. Okay. Off to work. A mini Walmart haul. So we have the Cape Cod Kettle Cooked. The reduced fat ones, these are pretty good. I like these. Um, the, I've never had this before, avocado oil butter. There was a dollar back on Ibotta. Two bags of the sweet petite carrots. These are so good. The cream parfait from Raimundo's that I showed you guys before. Uh, this is the Fresh Cravings Chunky Salsa in Medium and then the Restaurant Style in Mild. There was a dollar twenty-five back on each of these, so if you guys have tried these, let me know. I'm kind of excited. And then a little Cheddar and Monterey Jack blend. Okay, very quickly, I want to share something with you guys. Because if you're looking for a robe, I'll tell you which to get and which not to get. So this is the Pottery Barn. Like this little, I was like, I get, you get so many emails over like Christmas, right? For like shopping and gifts. So I saw this one. I was like, oh, very pretty. Okay, hold on. I was not prepared to film this clip. Okay, one second. I don't know, like you have this like nice fur situation and it's like, it's cute. But I'm like, I think the price is of like 120 or something original price, but it was on sale for 75 and I'm like, okay, if I don't like it, I can return it. I mean, do we like it? I'm like, it's like whatever to me, like it's nice. Like it's definitely nice. This thing looks really like lush and plush, but I'm not like sold on it. I also feel like for the price, I thought the, quality would be like way better like the worksmanship would be way better and it's like not bad but it's not you know i mean obviously it's faux fur so like the stitching here is like i mean it's okay i feel like it's like a little rough 
than what I expected. I expected it to be like way smoother. I expected this like white stuff to be like thicker and more, um, just more like lush and flush. I mean, this part is cute, but let me tell you, let me tell you. Okay, so I was at Nordstrom Rack and I'm sorry, it's like six in the morning. I'm trying to like get this done. I was at Nordstrom Rack and I saw these and at Nordstrom Rack, the store, they were $44.97, but online, if you go to the website, they're $39.97, and I think for like a third of the price, these are better. I feel like they're softer. I like this thing. Doesn't this look like, I don't know, like this thing looks more expensive to me. Like that one looks more expensive like on camera, sorry, but like it's light is changing, but I like the way like this one, they have the fur like folded in. So I mean, it looks more expensive that way instead of like you can see the stitching, right? So I would recommend this. I In store, they had like medium and I tried it on. And it fit okay, but I knew I wanted a small. So I was so excited when I went on the website and it was like five bucks cheaper or something. Okay, and then the black one, the black one has like a gray on it. I also got it in a small, but like seriously, like, I don't know, for a third of the price, I think these are like so much nicer. Not so much nicer, that one looks more luxe, like I was saying, but anyway, yes, I just wanted to share this very quick, quickly with you, even though I've talked for three minutes. Um, yes, they also have like kind of like a lilac-y lavender, like a darker vibe with like that, I don't know, I'm probably not gonna get that one, I wouldn't get a lot of use out of it, but I wanted to share these with you because the price is good and I really like them. Also, I have decided, at least for the winter time, when I do videos, like non-vlog videos, I'm gonna wear a robe. If you guys have noticed in the past, like, couple, like, non-vloggy type videos, uh, robes. Because by the time I'm done doing my makeup, I don't wanna pick out an outfit, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> robes, comfy, if they're in stock, I can share them with you. We all wear robes in the winter, right? Like, I get home, I immediately take off all my clothes. It's like, fleece, pants, t-shirt, robe. Done. If you come to my house, you ring the doorbell. If I answer the door, I'm wearing a robe. So, just wanna share that with you. I don't know if this is gonna be the last clip of the vlog. No. Maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog at the end of the month. I don't know if there's gonna be videos like before New Year's, but definitely after. So, okay, I'll talk to you guys soon.